never been so salty in my life. The team algorithm gives me two water types, no fire or electric type. Makes my fastest Pokemon a Nidoking. And gives me a Solar Beam Exeggutor. Literally the worst grass type. Let's see the Gyarados or Tauros. Let's see the Gyarados or Tauros. If I'm Taurus, I hope I have Thunder. He's never going for strength, so... He was Gengar. I'm something that could probably have Earthquake. I don't know if it's Thunder Punch. Now I'm confused. No, he went for Thunder Punch. I went for Attract. Crit is so fun. Ice Punch is horrible. I don't think I'm Ursaring. That killed. Leaning towards uh, Kangaskhan. That was Kangaskhan with Ice Punch. Strength. Oh, it's it's a Ice there was a time where I thought Executor was the greatest, greatest Pokemon in the game. My faith in Executor has died. Naturally, I find a good Exeggutor. But I go for the right move instead of the left one, because I think my left is always a grass move, and I think my right is always a psychic move. So I go for right thinking it's a psychic move, and it ends up being Giga Drain. There's a chance I live this Shadow Ball because of that. Somehow I do. Only way to win this now is if his next is Heracross and he misses. Twice. As if. He could also have Endure Reversal. That would suck. At least a Scizor. I mean, I could have Sleep Powder. All of his moves are inaccurate except for Swift and Quick Attack. Going for quick attack now if he has it. <sighs> Standard Executor. Not upset about that. <sighs> not upset about that. Giga Drain Confusion is not the best, but it's better than nothing. And now I have a Kingdra in Sunny Day. I've never wanted to find a Raindance Kingdra more in my life. Can we start with Swift? Ah, that didn't do much. These Pokemon are equally fixed. We're still primed to finish this just fine. There's the shot. I do find Surf. I really need a stealing miss. I really need a stealing miss. Son either dies this turn or the next one. He loses this one. I'm just glad he didn't crit me. I'm just glad he didn't crit me. 
That's my berry, most likely. There it goes. All right. Now it goes. I kind of like King Druid Zegator. That's a good core. It's not the best, but the fact that I have Surf is more than enough. I'm liking my chances of winning less and less. I think he always goes for fly here. We are faster somehow. Crit surf kills. I think I only outspeed Dodrio because I have a quick loss, so I should die here. No, I am just faster. After that horrific last battle, we have a chance. Man, I've never had bad luck on a team like that. No fire or electric type. And a solar beam executor is just about the worst thing you can do. I don't think you can ever win the the third fight without an electric or grass type. Luckily we do have a semi reliable grass type in Exeggutor. It's not the best, but it's good. And Kingdra is almost guaranteed to win this next fight with no issues. Surf doesn't kill an Aerodactyl. But if I get rid of Aerodactyl, Exeggutor wins, so that's all I gotta worry about. Leads right on. Give me your delicious, nutritious resistance. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. Oh man, this is the, the sweet spot. Surf Kendra in the third fight, and he leads right on. You know you're doing good when he leads right on. Don fan, Scizor, Steelix, Golem. Those are the only Pokemon he has when he leads Don or Ride On. When he leads Ride On, he doesn't have Aerodactyl, and all of his Pokemon die to Surf. Even Dante. This is what we call a perfect fight. A perfect, perfect fight. Straight sweep. No damage. Now, a quick claw Steelix, of course, can break my perfect perfect and waste a little bit of time. But now we have a continue with a Giga Drain Exeggutor. And plenty of chances to hope that the team algorithm gave me an electric type. I mean, it's really ridiculous how you can be Delta Team with two water types. I really thought the algorithm would not allow that. But last run it gave me Cloyster Amistar. There's nothing you can do about it. They even both had Surf. That's what really makes me mad. They both had Surf. Usually when it does that it'll give like one Clamp or Water Gun or no water moves. Like it, you never get two water types and both of them having Surf. Like that's just unrealistic. Like, I think I've had Starmie and one other water type once, but Starmie had Bubble Beam. Either way, we lead Exeggutor, switch out, he goes to a nice type. He drains on the right, Confusion's on the left, Deuce on the up. Jinx would be the worst, Lapras would be bad. Tentacruel is also bad. I don't think I live two sludge bombs. But I'd rather get some damage off and then switch. That's probably a crit. Now I switch. I think Exeggutorot speeds Cloyster. 
There's actually probably no merit in switching, but we'll see. Oh, it's Umbreon! I like switching to Umbreon. Oh, no. We do get a confusion. <sighs> That's one of the issues. Normally the announcer gets excited for crits and statuses. That was normally a sound he'd make for a crit. So I didn't know he confused. Mean look, huh? I like him being confused because it gives us more chances to look for moves. We yeah, have just bite. Bite might kill after this, but I'd rather look for another move. I figured it'd be swift. Still not too upset about that. I'm still on tilt for that last battle. Hey, poor Anna. Just give me Toxic or Confuse Ray, please. Play the waiting game. What's that? Whoop! That missed. It's a fierce attack. There's the attack. That was a glancing blow. Oh, it flinched. The white hot battle continues. What will it do? A light pass. What's this? The hit plant right off. The heated action continues. Should be in the yellow. He should be just now entering the yellow after this play. A light hit. I faulted a lot more than I expected. This is my time for Executor to get back in. Only move Vaporing can go for that can potentially kill me. There's Bite. And me being in the red is not good. Yellow or red? We did have Bite. Ugh. Ugh. No! Who's gonna win? I was gonna recover all the health and then kill his cloister anyway. <sighs> I am so salty. Do you zap can Gengar? Can you save me from this pain? Doesn't even kill. Only way to win now is if his last is Jinx. Last is Jinx. 
Or if it's Cloyster and I have Giga Drain, Thunder Punch. Thunder. Thunderbolt. Psychic. Give me Thunderbolt. That'd be cool. I'll even take Thunder Punch. <laughs> it gave me Thunder Punch. Well, we won the fight. Didn't lose our continue. Can't get mad about that. Gengar is showing with Thunder Punch. Umbreon with Mean Look, Bite, Swift. Uh, Kingdra with Surf, presumably Dragon Breath. What was our middle Pokemon? What was our middle Pokemon? Executor with Giga Drain Confusion. Thief. And our first was Kangaskhan with Strength Ice Punch. What do we have for this fight? Yeah, we have Legator. We also have Gengar, but not really. I don't see uh, Umbreon doing work in this fight. Do I want to learn my last? Not really. The only thing good about learning my last is if it's a fire type. So why not? And because we need a ice slash dark resist. Because I don't really like Strength, Ice Punch, Kangaskhan, and that's assuming that's what it is. Whatever it is, it's the normal type, and that makes the most sense for the noise it made and the attacks it has. Exegator, our last Kingdra, is my game plan. No clue what that is. Probably like Taurus. I live with Exegator, right? It's gonna use a tract. It's probably better for me to go for Confusion. Just the use of I don't think it's Charizard. It's not. There it goes. Great hit. Definitely Tauros. This is why Kingdra is a good switch. Anything that's super effective against Exeggutor is either neutral or not very effective for Kingdra. Oh, Kingdra. We take fire attacks, we take ice attacks, we take ghost attacks, we take dark attacks, we take every attack. Ah, Particularly fire attacks. The question is, the if this is a Tauros, does a Giga Drain and a Surf kill? Mm. Was that Thrash? Did you burn me? Ride that, that was takedown. That was a recoil that sound. Which kills. Oh, oh. That takedown helped with the kill, I think. Now. And now, here comes the pain. Oh, it's Snorlax. Snorlax is literally unkillable. I have nothing to hit a Snorlax. Twister? I haven't heard Twister. Ever. Twister can flinch. But I'm not really interested in flinching, so. We'll just get some surf damage off. Switch to Exegator. See what happens. Really wish that Twister flinched at least. Body slam is scary. Scary, scary, scary. Honestly, I'd rather save Exegator for the end. Get damage off. I'd rather know what my next is and then plan around that accordingly than go to Exegator and then be stuck with a ride on on the end. And this works out for the best. As long as I don't find. Roll out. Give me Earthquake. I'll even take Dig. Roll out it is. Roll out kills and two more hits. As long as he doesn't have Ice Punch, I win. He has Earthquake. Glad I didn't find Dig. I can get up two Earthquakes, thankfully. I can definitely eat up two Earthquakes. Non-stab. 
Brandon has a lot of HP and a lot of defense. And this next rollout better kill. That crit killed. Or maybe he's just was strong enough. Okay. Alright, now I really hope he's not a quick claw. He did live. Ooh, good. Okay. And if by some miracle his last is slow, or I get a quick claw boost, so he's gonna take a plus four rollout. Can Blissey even kill me? Doesn't know Ice Beam. Right on pulling through. You never want to get a ride on with Earthquake or with Rollout. But that is a, an acceptable time to get a Rollout ride on. Those are the fattest special defense Pokemon on that team. And my team has no physical attackers outside of Kangaskhan. And Kangaskhan does not beat Snorlax 1v1. Definitely doesn't beat Blissey after beating Snorlax. Right on doing something for once. Good for you, buddy. Alright, so we have Thunder Punch, Shadow Ball, Gengar. I like Gengar on this fight. I don't like, uh, Rhydon. Ah, fire types. What do I have for them? I have Exeggutor? Nope. I have Kingdra, I guess. I have... What was that? What was A? It was Umbreon. Down was Gengar. Not too terribly excited about it, but we're gonna go Kingdra, Gengar, Kangaskhan. This is a pretty okay core. Hopefully he just leads with a uh, fire type. Nine Tails does constitute as a fire type. Now the only thing I, I hate about this is because he's always going for Sunny Day. So these attacks are going to be super weak. Nine Tails has the highest special defense of all the fire types. That's like the third most HP behind Arcanine and Charizard. Maybe. I don't really know how much HP Magmar has, but long story short. Even fire boosted, sun boosted, flamethrower is not going to be doing too much damage. Just gotta hope we don't get burned. And this surf hopefully definitely kills. Swear. I think he did burn me. I wasn't listening, but for him to switch to swift, I think he's going for the fact that I'm burned. No, I was not burned. That's good. Okay. What was my left? My left was... Hmm. Don't remember my left. The Kingdra's done its job. All I needed to do was fight the, the fire type. I am not happy about Swagger. I'm not happy about Swagger. Swagger is bad. Now I could flinch. I don't know if that delays the confusion turns or not. Really go for Surf now. Surf is definitely a stronger attack. Higher base power definitely does better than a Twister doing 40 base power and not very effective. It's very interesting. I'm going to give you guys a little quick fact. Very interesting. If you know uh, current generation Pokemon and all that kind of stuff. 
a close combat from a adamant max attack Keldeo does the same damage as an adamant max attack drain punch from Conkelder. And the reason for this is because even though Kelio has a lower attack stat, Close Combat is a higher base power. So when it comes to attacks, there is something about an attack having a higher base power that helps it to uh, kill, do more damage rather. So in a spot where you can be going for Twister, which is 40 base power, in a spot where you're going to be going for Surf, which is a 95, I assume that's what it was in Gen 2. A 95 base power? Luckily we do attack first. We might even get a continue out of this. Hmm. Not surprised. Continue would have been nice, but nothing you can do about it. I'm totally happy with getting through the first two Pokemon with Kingdra alone. And now we can confirm if this is Kangaskhan or not. It is Kangaskhan. Alright, just need to hit a strength and we win. And he's crunch not bite, so we definitely uh, kill. Even if he burns me with a crit fire blast. Wasn't gonna lose. Though he never has fire blast and crunch. Either way, as I was saying, a higher base power attack is better than a lower base power attack. And there goes the now if you think about it, obviously the math works in favor of Surf against Meganium because it's more than double the power of Twister. But let's just think for a second, what if Twister was base 50 and Surf was base 80, base 90? Twister would be doing more damage, right? The way the, uh, the uh, calculations work for doing damage Surf will do more damage to a Meganium than a Twister would, because Twister is just that much of a lower base power. So in those spots, Surf is better than Twister, even though it's not very effective. <sighs> How do we want to go about this? I'm not crazy about an Executor lead. I, I was thinking about doing it, but I'm not really crazy about that lead, actually. There's only one thing that can really super effectively hit Kingdra, I uh, really don't know what I want. I'm just going to go with my best attackers. I do have a ground resist for Gengar in Executor. And Giga Drain helps. Only thing I'm really worried about is Aerodactyl. But if he has Aerodactyl, he leads with it, so... He leads with one of the most generic cries in the entire game. Could be Tauros, Kangaskhan, Gyarados, Charizard. Probably Charizard. Or, no, that wasn't. Hmm, that was Takedown. Tauros. Tauros dies to two Surfs. I think I might even want to switch to, uh. I was considering switching to, uh, Gengar here on the Takedown. But I just don't feel confident enough that Thunder Punch would kill after a uh, missed takedown. Definitely, it's also a speed tie, and he could have Earthquake. So I'd rather safely go for Surf, take the extra damage, and just hope. I mean, I don't have to worry about a ground type. Fire type, I do. Him going Meganium. What do I do here? I'm going with Ganium. What do I do? I think I do want to go Exeggutor. I can't think of any attack you can go for. Body Slam, Strength, Headbutt. Headbutt would probably be the worst. Body Slam would be marginal to worry about. Body Slam would probably be the worst thing to get from this. Strength would be the best. He does have Earthquake. Ugh. Earthquake. Earthquake Meganium. He switches. Does he have a Houndoom? Umbreon? I think he switches to a Fire-type here. Yeah, 
That was right. What sucks about this is I can't switch to Kingdra. Ugh. What do I do here? I don't think he's ever going for a fire attack. Like, what if his fire attack is Ember? What if it's Fly? Ugh. 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 What do I do here? His Zygotar's not doing anything anyway. It's pretty much only hard walling, uh. Yeah, that's what he's good for. He's hard walling Meganium. <sighs> Honestly, if my Kingdra dies, my Kingdra dies. If he goes for a fire move, I get one hit off for free. Hopefully, hopefully, he goes for fire blast and misses. And then Charizard still wins. Or uh, Gengar still wins with the uh, Thunder Punch. Let's go for a fire. He dies to a surf after a confusion, but do I live a wing attack? Here comes dragon breath. That's it. He has dragon breath. Oh, he has no strength left. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Hmm. Sounded like a flamethrower. I wasn't paying attention to the, the length of time it took. I'm in a really tough spot if he switches to Meganium here. Luckily he does not. That was Fire Blast. I'd rather go for Thunder Punch than Shadow Ball because if I'm burned... I'm not doing any damage anyway. And the reason I have to decide between those two is if he's going to switch to Meganium. I did not take fire damage, so I did not get burned. All I need to do now is just get one Shadow Ball off. I completely wall Meganium, especially if he's something like Solar Beam. He's going to kill my Gengar, but my Executor wins. Just need a little bit of damage. The best thing this Shadow Ball can do right now is to just, just get the special defense drop. And I kill with confusion. Okay. Alright. Zegator. Only thing I have to fear is Swagger. Swagger or Toxic. Both of those have a chance to miss. A confusion would help. Like actually inflicting the status of confusion would help. After an Earthquake, I'm at like 240, and that's if I have low HP. So, if it goes for Giga Drain, we win. If it goes for Razor Leaf and Crits, we're in a tough spot. Him going for Sunny Day says he's got Solar Beam. Solar Beam Earthquake. Solar Beam's doing 50 damage. So I can take four solar beams. Three. I'm gonna lean towards three three solar beams. So after three confusions, I have to get a nice crit. That's all I need. All right, we win. Definitely win now. That berry juice will not save you, buddy. All right, even a crit solar beam won't kill, so we win this fight. Right as I said it and heard it, I was having doubts and getting scared, but luckily we did just kill with uh, confusion and survive the uh, crit solar beam. What do we do for this fight? I mean, Umbreon's a great choice. We have Swift for accuracy, and Bite. We wall every Psychic type and Gengar. If he has a Houndoom, I want Kingdra. If he has an Exeggutor, I want... Sounds right. Umbreon, Kingdra, Gengar? That doesn't seem right. I don't lead Gengar though. I lose to anything. Literally anything. Gengar is a check, not a lead. Kingdra's more of a lead than that, actually. Can I take Shadow Balls? I'd rather lead Umbreon. We're gonna do Umbreon, Kingdra, Gengar. Rhinon doesn't do anything this game, this fight. 
Xegator definitely doesn't do anything in this fight. Kangaskhan doesn't do anything in this fight. Best Pokemon are Umbreon, Kingdra, Gengar. Gengar we want to use to fight the uh, Psychic types. This is why I wanted a uh, Kingdra. Good news is he has nothing that switches into Kingdra except for exclusively Exeggutor. And I do wall Exeggutor with a myriad of Pokemon. But Exeggutor should always have Psychic if he switches to an Exeggutor. So the question is... What do we do here? I think with him using Double Team, he always stays in. I don't think he ever switches to Exeggutor. He always stays in. Unfortunately, we need to hit two surfs, and he's already at plus two. This is a damage roll. Could kill, most likely doesn't. Yep. That is swift! Ooh, he doesn't know that. Does he double team? I think he attacks this turn. He does double team. Well, I have swift, so I kill the swift. <laughs> Later, nerd. Oh, sweet revenge. For when my Kingdra used Swift on a Scizor. In the middle of the sun. It's good to have Swift in this fight. Heracross, I like my odds now. Okay, we're likely to win this fight. Worst thing on the end is almost a uh, Alakazam. Alakazam does outspeed and does kill Gengar. But the good news is we outspeed Heracross. And that crit just means we kill with Surf. I don't think two Surfs kill Heracross normally. But I won't complain. Doesn't change many of the result that much. Like, whatever he goes to is probably faster than my Kingdra. Mm, I actually have no idea. I have no idea what he switches to here. It's most likely Alakazam, Espeon, Jinx. Zegator makes sense. He have an easy switch here. His best attack is Psychic. He might have Razor Leaf. He might have Solar Beam. I really hope he has Solar Beam. And then we just bite. Bite, bite, bite. Perfect. Oh. I could even switch to Exeggutor here. This would be a great spot to switch to Exeggutor. Glad I didn't. I'd rather fight a double teaming Exeggutor with Bite than with Shadow Ball. The shot. Whoop, that hmm. That's a Bite miss. And literally his best move is either Solar Beam or Razor Leaf. He never has Giga Drain Psychic. If he had Giga Drain I'd be really happy because we can stall him out of Giga Drains really quickly. I just need a few more bites and I kill. Two more, max. One more might kill, in all fairness. But two more definitely kill. Nope, he dies to this bite. I could go for Swift, but I'd rather go for Bite first and then Swift. And we just hit, so that's good. Alright, we gotta continue out of that too. This is the only thing Umbreon is good for, is this fight. <laughs> This is the only fight Umbreon is good for. Anyway. Going into the last fight. Kingdra, Exeggutor, Gengar. There's no other way around it. Umbreon's a good uh, matchup. Takes a lot of hits. Deals with a lot of threats. But I'd only choose Umbreon for this fight if it had Confuse Ray. Because then it can switch into a hit, go for Confuse Ray, and then switch out. But because he does not have Confuse Ray, 
We're gonna do our standard hard hitting, I like this team a lot, core of Kingdra, Exeggutor, Gengar. And we're gonna cap off this run, hopefully within two continues. Within one continue. And maybe he just leads a rock type or a fire type. Or a perfect type. Aerodactyl lives a surf. Not happy about that. But he's terrified. I eat up wing attacks for days. Could have an Exeggutor. Could have a Venusaur. Could have a Victory Bell. If he has a Victory Bell, I'm not worried. If he has an Exeggutor, I'm worried. Exeggutor is the only thing I really have to worry about here. Maybe an Umbreon. I would be afraid of an Umbreon. Umbreon is the only Pokemon on this team that I would be worried about fighting. If he goes Umbreon, Umbreon, Umbreon. If he goes Umbreon here, I think I go for Swagger? Do I even have Swagger? I definitely go uh, Gengar here. Definitely go Gengar here. Gengar eats up a sludge bomb like crazy. Kills in four shadow balls. Or just weakens enough for Exeggutor to go for one confusion. Eating it up. Or maybe once in a lifetime he switches to like a Kangaskhan or something. Nope. At this point I don't care what happens. Special defense helps. Oh yeah. Not worry anymore. We definitely win. I don't think Gengar has any moves on the end like Psychic or Fire Punch or Icy Wind. He has Thunder Punch, Shadow Ball. He probably doesn't have another move to hit with. Maybe Psycho. I'd rather just keep going for Shadow Ball. I can take maybe one or two more Shadow or er, Sludge Bombs, and then I'm dead. And he cannot take two more Sludge Bombs, Shadow Balls. So luckily, he only got two hits off. And now there is nothing on the end. I fear. Umbreon exactly. Umbreon is the only thing I fear on the end here. I do fear Starmie. Marshall. Starmie is faster. Starmie does have Psychic. Luckily we do have Speed. And now we definitely win with the uh, Exeggutor. I do not fear an Ice Beam or Ice Beam or Blizzard. I'm going Goldie is good. It not slowing me down is even better. Let me go for another Shadow Ball. Blam! What a good run to counteract that horrible run. Again, we didn't have an Electric type, but at least it didn't give me two Water types. Like that was the worst. That was actually one of my fastest runs, believe it or not. 43 minutes. Wow. Sub 45 is a great run. I've only had two sub 45 runs before this. We got 44 on the button. Yep. So if you're here live, you got to see my run before this and how I didn't have a fire or electric type. And you'll notice in this run I did not have a water or a fire or electric type either. But at least in this one, I didn't have two water types. We had Kangaskhan, which did nothing. Electo Ele Exeggutor, which did a few things. Kingdra, that did everything. Gengar, that did a few things. Umbreon, that did two things. Rion, that did one thing. That Rion actually came through for the uh, fourth fight. I was really glad about that. I would have hated to do that fight again, but... In the run before this, I had... Ugh, what did I have? Something, Scizor, Omastar. I had Exeggutor, Scizor, Omastar.
something something cloister. And those two somethings were not... Oh, it was Porygon 2 and... Ugh, I don't even remember the fourth one. I'm trying to forget that run. Long story short, I had no electric types and no fire types. But I had two water types. And I lost at the third fight. Even with a continue. Because it is really, really hard to get through the third fight without a grass type or an electric type. And the grass type I had was Exeggutor with Solar Beam. So this shows that there is there are a lot of times where the RNG can be very unfavorable in uh, the teams you're dealt. Once again, I didn't get an electric type, but at least this time I didn't get... Oh, it was Nidoking. Nidoking was the other Pokemon I had on that team. So I had... Everything on my team was weak to water, except for Exeggutor. And Exeggutor was weak to ice. I also got frozen in that fight. If I didn't get frozen, I would have won. That was another thing. I would have at least won that third fight. But either way. Sometimes you're dealt Pokemon that make it harder to win other fights. Like I had no fire type to win the, uh, the fifth fight. And I had no electric type to win the third fight. And I didn't even have Thunder Punch Gengar until... Well, I think I did have it actually. No, I did have Gengar, but I didn't find Thunder Punch until a later time, I don't remember. No, I had a, I had Thunder Punch for, uh, did I? I don't know. Either way. When you're dealt bad teams like that, that was not a bad team. But when you're dealt a team that doesn't have an electric type, it's really, really hard to win. Because that third fight is a huge, huge roadblock. Especially if you have a Solar Beam Grass type. So that's pretty much the only way you can lose a run, is what I was getting to, is the only way you can really lose a run early on is if you have no electric type and no grass type, or if your grass type is a solar beam user. Because that third fight is just super hard. Super difficult. But either way, I have not had a sub-45 run in a long time, and that was a really good one. So yeah. Thank you for watching.